Welcome back to Binge Warmers. Bum, bum, bum. Boo. Oh, you freaked me out a little bit. Because I'm ugly and I'm proud. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the ugly. You gave me the herpes. It's a whole different episode. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Binge Warmers. <laughs> My name is Hopper. My name is Steven. Today we're looking at Ghost Freaked Out. This is season two, episode 11 of We Benton. love Ghost Freak, dude. I cannot stand how little he's in the show. But we get a whole season of him next year. I know. I'm real excited. I to mean, see. next season. That's not true. We get two episodes with him. He his, has his minions to come. Yeah, to the but bidings. it's the overarching Ghost Freak season. The purple lightning. Yes, <sighs> I love it. Dude. I love the the crystal stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The corodium. Yeah. Um, not really creative names, but it's okay. We'll it's better than it. unobtainium. And yet, it was in two different <laughs> movie series. Uh, anyway, so yeah, today we're we're looking at Ghost Freaked Out. Please like, subscribe. Oh. And hit Nody. the noties. Nody. We were watching the Super Bowl last night, and I just kept going, Tutty, baby. Tutty with the noties. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and before we get into the episode today, guys, we're just going to talk a little bit about our sub goals. We want to hit 1,000 subscribers by September, because I, that's when we're going to be done with Ben 10 Classic. I don't know if I want to hit that sub goal because of what we have to do afterwards. If you get us to 1,000 subscribers by September 1st, we will eat some of Grandpa Max's meal combinations. Uh, off the top of my head, marinated millworms. Don't the say canned it. octopus, bro. You know, I I would try that one. The worms thing is just what's tripping me up. The a worms. Little bit. Um. So lots of good stuff. Uh. Get us to that subscription goal, please. And thank you. Yeah. And tell your friends if you want. I mean, if we hit, it's whenever we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll eat the gross stuff. I don't know. It's but by September first. Yeah, but if it's past September first, we won't eat the bugs. Yeah. If it's before September first, if it's like next week, we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll have to eat bugs like in that next week. I've never wanted next week not to come <laughs> any harder. So thank you. I think we can get this goal. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for sharing this with your friends and, and getting us yeah to hurt ourselves for your entertainment. Yeah, we do this as a hobby thing, and we really appreciate you guys coming on this journey with us. Ben has a weird nightmare at the start of this. The creepiest part of that dream is him talking as Wild Night. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, buddy, I'm not gonna hurt you. And then the kid's just like, I don't need your help. <laughs> imagine it's around with one eyeball. What's What's hilarious though to me is like, imagine the guy like, in my head, you know, like every alien has their own artist. Yeah. So one guy's like, I got it easy. I just draw Wild Nut, and he does like one <laughs> roar and stuff. And they come to him today. He's like, You want me to do what? I'm you gonna do, make his mouth move. I gotta do lip sync today. I was not trained for this. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if he roared it a certain way. He's like, I don't even animate his legs moving. Look at him jump. <laughs> They're still the whole time. Yeah, he climbs a tree in the beginning like, yeah. when they're having that uh, dream, and I'm like, "This is the most satisfying looking." Yes, dude. Animation. I want to climb that tree I, as well, but yeah, I don't want to be that dumb orange alien so bad. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's that's a creepy scene. He, the tree turns into Ghost Freak, and that's uh, that's really creepy. Voiced by uh, Stephen Bloom. Yes, he's a uh, phenomenal. Yeah, he he's, voices a Vilgax. He voices Heat Blast. Heat Blast. Wolverine. Uh, is relevant because Deadpool and Wolverine's coming out. And Wolverine is just always relevant. Yeah, I guess He's so. He's a timeless superhero. He'll be relevant for the next. Do you think they're going to replace Hugh Jackman in the MCU? I don't know, but I really love that we're getting the TVA. So yeah, Ben and uh, Ghost Freak are not happy with each other. I think He's, it's one-sided. No, really. no, no. Ben's like, get out of my head, you freak. Well, that's just because Ghost Freak's messing with him. Yeah, but Ghost Freak's messing with him because he's not happy with him. Yeah, he's an ecto neurite. Really cool names. Ghost, it's very ghosty, like yeah. ectoplasm and neuro, neuro right. yeah, like yeah. neuro stuff. So I, I, I think it's great. When Azimuth took all the DNA from each alien and put it in the Omnitrix, they can survive off like one DNA strand. So he became conscious in the Omnitrix, and now he wants out of it, essentially. Which it always made me wonder, like, so Ghost Freak can survive off any DNA strand. Does that mean that any DNA strand that he has, like, what if he shot a load in a different solar system? Is his consciousness like... Yeah, like, is he a hive mind type thing, right. you think? Or, I mean, surely not, right? Like, it's just one guy. It's, it's Ghost Freak. Like, everyone knows the, the Scares yeah. is, like, is yeah. his government name. Yeah. The Scare. The Scare. Z-A apostrophe. S-K. Oh, so he's German. The Scare. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hiding in your basement, Benton? <laughs> he's from, uh, we find out later in Omniverse, he's from the Anur system. I know. I will maybe watch Omniverse just because I want to see the monster universe. There's a whole, like... Monster solar system. Yeah, yeah. There's a I whole see it so subsect bad. of episodes called the Galactic Monsters. Bro, I love monsters. He turns into Ultimate Alien Ghost Freak once. Oh, when, really? You remember when the Ultimates come alive inside the watch? Yes. He, for for no reason, out of nowhere, he just pops into Ghost Freak in that, like, when he's in the Omnitrix. Did he? Just out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, you know, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw a clip about that the other day. Because, like, it, it kind of reverses the fact that, like, okay, this alien was the first one to come, yeah. to come sentient. 
Um, this is the first time we see any of Ben's aliens come outside of the watch. Yeah. It only happens a couple extra times. I think uh, They don't really explain how he got out of the watch, though. Well, no. I no. think just his own consciousness eventually yeah. just... He'd had enough, you I know. I think his power set bleeds into it, too, because he can phase in and out. He can possess yeah. people. So he probably just did the unpossession thing right at the moment when he turned back yeah. in. Um, and it was probably... He probably was... Because I think he's, like, a really strong... You yeah. find out later he's, like, a really strong, like, ecto-lord or something. Yeah. Like, he owns, like, the whole solar system. Yeah, like, he was... Yeah, before know. he was put into the watch kind of thing. Yeah, it was something like that. And I don't think it was, like... Which is weird. Though. If it was only a couple strands of DNA, why did his whole consciousness get put into that? You I, know? Would, I think it was just that, like... I think it's, like, a split personality. Maybe he's still a lord maybe, over there, and maybe. he's gonna come back, or he tries to go back at some point and realizes... No, I'm me kind of thing. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. I, it could be like the, the Hodge twins from Invincible. <laughs> Invincible you know? Hodge yeah. twins? Yeah. I'm telling you, they're the perfect <laughs> casting for the Maulers. Hodge twins if you're put watching. Up a, put up a comparison. That's funny as hell. I'm telling you, dude. But yeah, I think it's like the Maulers where they don't know who's the real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, okay. I can buy that. Well, I don't, know, I don't know how many ghost freaks there really are. Because what if they're all the same ghost freak? Because in... Um, uh, I think it's Ultimate Alien. It might be Omniverse. It's whenever Vilgax... Uh, needs Ben's help to come back yeah. to his hometown or whatever. You remember that? Yeah, that's an Ultimate Alien, I believe. Okay, so Ghost Freak, like, he Because it's right before the Dagon stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He traps... Ghost Freak, like, traps some of Vil- Vilgax's citizens, yeah. and he turns them into what looks like o- o- OC Ghost Freak, like, with yeah, the yeah, white yeah. kind of shroud, yeah. like, classic ghost look, you know? Um, so maybe he's just... Maybe you just turn... Maybe you get turned into an ectoneuro. Yeah, what something. if you I think, what if it's just all Ghost Freak? The thing is, though, like... I'm sure this lore has been well expanded on. Yeah, I someone don't. somewhere. Ink Tank, where you at? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's probably been expanded on, but I don't know. It's fine. It's just cool to think. I love, like, he's not my favorite. Like, when I think a favorite alien of the OGs, yeah. I go Diamond Head. But when I think of favorite villains, Ghost Freak is, like, up there for me. Ghost Freak's got it because he's, like, it's it's like Kevin Eleven, but more personal. Because yes. he's got that connection with Ben, but it's like Ben was Ghost Freak for a certain yeah. time. Um, so it's cool that, you know, he, get, he comes out of the watch. And, yeah. And when he rips his cloak off and it's just, like, the art for Ghost Freak is so sick, yeah. dude. Everything looks, about him is cool. He looks like a um, Tim Burton creature. Like yes. He looks, like he's got all, like the snake from Beetlejuice. He's got yeah. kind of some of those. Like he's, his little tentacles have rings on them instead mm-hmm. of black and white. And, yeah. And he's got like sharp claws and he's got like the gross teeth. So and, good. Like I, I wanted to watch more Ben 10 after that episode just because I was like <laughs> yeah. Ghost Freak. You know what I mean? Um, we can also talk a little bit about like what, uh, what he was doing when his eyeball was moving around because – you see, like, whenever he's got the shroud off or whatever, it's like this little sun protection thing comes off. Yeah. It's like his his eyes just stuck kind of where it is. Yeah. So, like, in the show, when it, like, goes around to the back, is his neck, like, contorting and twisting all the way around yeah, the back? Yeah, dude. That's crazy, that's actually. That's foul. Think, I didn't think about that. Do you think that's how it works? Or I what? believe it. He's that creepy. I would believe it. Creepy gentleman. It cracks me up, too, thinking about it, because, you know, every time he turns into Ghost Freak, part of it is Ghost Freak, like Ben talks about. That's why I've yeah, always yeah, felt yeah. weird. It's because part of it is him. So you ever think, like, when he's trying to scare the tick and Ghost Freak's there, like, is this guy a <laughs> idiot? Like, what? I'm showing him my, my tentacles. What's that doing right now? Ben, I can phase through stuff. Yeah, like, what put me in doing? his heart. I'll kill him. I can possess him. We can eat the whole planet. Yeah. Like, you think he's just like, oh, God, this guy's like, an idiot. He even dude. says in the episode, it's like, so much, he's like, you're always trying to play the hero. It's a yeah. wasted potential. Yeah. So he's a straight up villain. He's yeah. an evil, evil. It's son of so bitch. it's so good. And there's a point. I don't know exactly what his goal is, but he says, "I'll take over the world." Yeah. Remember that? Well, I think that if if our head cannon is true, and he's he wants to turn everyone into ghost freaks. Yeah. Mm. But we see that they don't turn into ghost freaks in this OG. They turn into those weird zombie looking creatures. What do you mean? When he shoots the laser. And oh, stuff. from the corrodium. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's not. Maybe he didn't get that power until later or something. Yeah. Maybe because I know like. Um, uh, Vilgax goes and finds other artifacts to use yeah. that like help him and get him stronger. Maybe Vilg- maybe uh, Ghost Freak figures out a way to make people yeah. his like minions or whatever. Could be. Either way, Ghost Freak's awesome. Ghost Freak's awesome. Speaking of freaks, though, we get the freaks back. Get the circus freaks. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, get acid this time instead of like a fog breath thing. Yeah. Yeah. He he spits on the bleachers at one point yeah. to kind of seal in Ghost Freak. Yeah. So it's like a seals in the flavor. The flavor. You ever seen Bad Man? <laughs> what is it? Bad Man. From Bad Man. Yeah. College Humor. Bad Man. Oh, yeah, and yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. he's like, wait, so you slept with me? He's like, I was wearing a full rubber suit. <laughs> really helps to seal in the flavor. Pete Holmes is Batman. It's yeah, like genius, It's phenomenal, dude. dude. <laughs> he's like, well, your parents are dead. And it pans like, why would you say that? <laughs> what? They're sleeping. <laughs> I was a boy. That's awesome. And now I'm a bat. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, so the circus freaks, they kind of come in. It's really funny. We, we talked about like Ben and Gwen and, and Grandpa are, are walking around this prestigious yeah. prep school, whatever yeah. it is. And uh, you just smash cut to the, the freaks and they're like, oh, easy money. And yeah. Just like looking at the trophy case. Like, what are you guys going to steal trophies from a, like a prep also, school? Also, and the schools get those from like mass produced. Like that's not real gold in there. That's plastic or metal at best. They're just dumb. So unless you're like meth heads, you're not getting much. Unless it's like copper. <laughs> that you one know guy's know? a meth head. He definitely is. Acid breath. He stole the car radio out of that one thing. Yeah. He's, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the good stuff. Yeah, it is. Uh, I like the freaks. I wish they were in more. I know they, they come back a couple more yeah, times. They're but hit or miss for me. I like Do they it. show I up in Omniverse? Yes. Very, very touch and go. Zombozo shows up in Omniverse. Zombozo is more of the villain. I think they realize like, Zombozo is more interesting. Yeah. Because he's a zombie clown. Yeah. And that was before zombie clowns were A really vampire clown. Well, in Omniverse, he like has chunks missing out of him. And his teeth oh, are all, wow. And he's, he's more zombie than... Yeah. But you could make the argument that he died in the first episode. Oh, and, and then he comes back. So Ben's, as a zombie. Ben's got a list that killed. I don't think he exploded. I think he, he exploded into confetti. You could take it as yeah the way, but he definitely kills Ghost Freak in this. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Or he thinks he does, and he thinks he kills Vilgax too. Yeah. So I guess he's not a murderer, but in his head, he's he's, he's murdered like five people. He'll make the hard choices. He looks at yeah. that like diagram where there's like the five people on one track and then one person yeah. on the other track, and he's instantly like one person. Yeah. He's like, yeah, kill him, whatever, good. <laughs> now I'll go save the other five. I'm being ten. I got the power. <laughs> Someone give me their nuclear launch codes. <laughs> I'm re- I can be responsible. Um. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, they, the freaks are they. Well, okay, so Ben. Tries I don't to, think I like them as much as you like them. I like them. I think they're they're fun in their power sets. Like Thumb Skull is just like a fun big bruiser guy. We yeah. don't really see too many big bruisers in the show. I mean, Volcanus, and then yeah. that's probably all I can think of off the top of my head. Maybe we see Bill the Jackson War Kevin. God. Oh yeah, uh, Apuk. Yeah, beats the <laughs> shit out of Ben. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so good. so Ben's trying to turn into forearms. Yeah, something. He, he no, gets, Heat Blast. Oh, Heat Blast. Yeah. yeah. So he's trying to turn Heat Blast inside of a school gymnasium. Very smart. It's been for you. Yeah. Um, and then he turns into Ghost Freak, mm-hmm. another Steve Bl- Bloom alien. Yeah. So I guess he's got that part of it right. The watch was like, Steve Bloom? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we like him. <laughs> no. It turns into Vilkan. <laughs> <laughs> he tur- well, he, so he turns into Ghost Freak, but we've had moments of um, Ben freaking out kind of before yeah. then. Yeah. So he get, he like sees a shadow on the wall, or he sees him flying around. And then yeah. For some reason, he like the Ghost Freak like makes the bur- Bunsen burners go up and start ex- like heating up and exploding all the chemicals that are in that one room. Yeah. It's Which weird. is weird. Yeah, because he's not even outside the watch or anything. How does he... Can I mean, I guess he's got telekinesis. He's got tele- tele- yeah, tele- but the b- watch b- keeps things under control. You know what I mean? I guess he was just like on the... Ver- like he had been growing pow- in power and just yeah. until he got the moment. That's what I love too. I, I, I brought it up towards the end, you know, uh, Ghost Freak's like, I can't possess you while you're in your alien form. I have to wait till you're human. So he goes to like possess Ben and the watch is like, no, I'll save you, Ben. Turns him into gray matter. And then, like, not even two minutes later, the watch is like, okay, time's up. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, watch is like, whoo, breathing hard. Woo. Yeah. Um, so that was a lot. That was a lot, really. <laughs> even though, like, two episodes later, he gets the full master control. Yeah. He doesn't need to charge up or recharge or yeah. anything. It just keeps him as an alien yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't, we don't have to think about it too much. Yeah. Doesn't, it's, hand wave. Let's do a little. Hand wave. It's not magic, but we'll hand wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, it's but a yeah, kid's so, show at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> but... Uh, we talk about that preppy girl too. Like I love yeah. that Gwen's being chauffeured by someone her age, and Gwen literally thinks that she holds her whole life in her hand. Like yeah. it's up to you if I get into the school. It's like there's administrators, there's teachers. Yeah, and, she was just giving him a tour essentially. Yeah. I guess she was being pretty snooty to him. Though. Yeah, but it's like also Grandpa Max and actual adults there. Why are you not stepping in and saying, "Hey, little girl, you're being a bitch" <laughs> <laughs> to my little granddaughter? Grandpa Max was like hanging way back. He was. He like, was. I don't want to deal with this. Whatever. Yeah. I guess I mean and he's not his, he's not the mom or dad, so he's just like yeah. I'm just here. I brought you here. Their track record is pretty good of him keeping hands off. You know what I mean? Yeah, them true. sorting it out by themselves, kind of thing. So um, I do like that that voice actress comes back the next episode. The um, Kath Susie or whatever her name is. Yeah, Phil, it's like Phil they were Little. like. It's funny because it's like you know we record episodes, so they're like, "Oh, we got you in the studio. Hey. You want to go ahead and voice this girl for the next <laughs> video? Like it's just a few lines, you know? Well, might, might as well believe. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. It's not. Anyway, oh, okay. <laughs> uh but yeah so ghost freak's awesome he's he, he's laying into those freaks yeah he really is they're like out. oh i don't care about you and he's like uh and he's like oh, okay and he possesses all yeah, of them yeah. and they're like oh, i hate this part they man. said they said uh we don't care about or we ain't scared of no ghosts yeah and he's like you should be yeah and he like <laughs> takes over the thumb skull and like starts throwing them he around puts his hands in dude's brain yeah and he's oh. like oh yeah <laughs> you imagine imagine getting your brain massaged by <laughs> ghost freaks claws <laughs> dude 
And then he like grabs Frightwig as he like he grabs her arm, or grabs her hair, and then he like goes into the floor. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> he just really lays into him. <laughs> and Grandpa Max is going like, "That's too vicious for yeah. me." Yeah, yeah. And then, Grandpa, he's a known murderer at this point. <laughs> okay, you've taught him to kill, Grandpa. Yes. <laughs> he's ten years old. Yeah. You taught him that. <laughs> this is on you. <laughs> Um, no, so he, yeah, they're like, Ben, snap out of it. You're wrecking the gym. And then he's like, Ben's not here. Oh, oh. he's a boo. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway, freaky. Freaky. But then he just wants to lay into the freak some more. He's like, yeah, he's like haven't oh. learned your lesson. <laughs> I'm going to go bully you guys. <laughs> he after him, bro. Yeah, dude. Where oh, are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we was having fun. <laughs> yeah. And then it, perfect uh, perfect henchman for Ghost Freak, by the way. Oh, for sure. Ghost and, Freak, Freaks. Yeah, and then that like the last episode Ghost Freak was really relevant was the Zombozo episode. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was in a bunch of other stuff. but he, Yeah, but he that's when really he was like, relevant. you don't know fear, you know? Like, let me show you my tentacles. Even afterwards, Ben was Flashes like, Flashes Zombozo. He's like, that even scared me. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's a fun it's fun that we get the Freaks back. Yeah. I wonder if they were setting that up from the beginning or they're like, well, let's bring the Freaks back. Yeah. You think when uh, he snuck in to play Super Sl- Sumo Slammers, again, Ghost Freak's like... <laughs> what am I doing, man? No, I, I rolled an entire galaxy. I think he's all into it. I think he's just like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Oh, we don't have this on my planet. Yeah. <laughs> Make that fat man fight. <laughs> Change his skin during the round. Yeah. Remember that was the, that was the upgrade yeah. for the new Sumo Slammers point the, three or something? God, dude. It's like the DLC something. That's literally what it is these days in the gaming industry, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, I, I like to, uh, Grey Matter is pretty cool. He, he thinks he's possessing Ben. Grey Matter's in his mouth and he hops out. Mm-mm. Um, I like that Gwen uses a fire extinguisher again. Yeah, we almost need to keep count. She's 2 and 0 right now. I think it's like 3, because in the pilot episode, she puts out, um, Oh, he blessed, so 3 and 0. Well, she hits him in the head with the fire extinguisher. Mm-hmm. And then, in then episode 2, Dr. Anima episode, she puts him out puts again. Puts him out he's in the 4 car. and 0. We're at 4 and 0. It's at least 4 and 0. Well, because, and then there was the Forever Nights, yep. it's 3, and then this is 4. Yeah. I'm, I'm betting there's more. There could be. She's just a beast with that fire. Editor may have to go and no, look no, no. at the past two she seasons. Will not do that. <laughs> and just scrub them. I don't em. think so. Scrub them for some I don't think fire so. extinguisher. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. No, she's she's got the moves. Uh, Ghost Freak's like. Oh, uh, she mentioned she has a she's she's in her school's jujitsu class. Yeah, I love too. Uh, Gwen at one point was like. It's all your fault, Ben. You're such an idiot or whatever. And Ben's like, it's not me. He's like, yeah, it is. I'm going to kill you or whatever. And she goes to do something, and Ben instantly throws up his hands. He's like, <laughs> like he's 100% convinced it's not him, but he's ready he's to ready like to throw hands. Yeah. He goes, oh, he'll take it down. He's got the Omnitrix. He's just like, I don't need that. Be a four I don't need that to cousin. beat your ass. <laughs> oh, let's mention that too. So, in, in one of the, the Rojo episodes, yeah. season one, some point. I hate hearing Rojo because I think of your actual title, and it's like, oh no, Rojo made an uh oh. And I was like, what the? <laughs> This title. You don't like that title? That's a good title. Or it was like, uh oh, Rojo made a no no, yeah, and I was like, like that. what? <laughs> so that every time I hear Rojo, I think of that. That was before we tried to search engine optimize our yeah. videos and stuff. But anyway, the good old the fun old days. You know? The Rojo episode, yeah. She he Ben says, I'm not gonna. I don't want to hit a girl. Yeah. And then here he is. Frightwig shows up, and he's like, <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> well, no, he like he like his forearms. He like wraps her up, but he yeah, yeah. he tears. Well, her that's up the thing. He wraps her up. We don't actually see him punch her at all. Um, Maybe not. So he may not be hitting a girl. He's just incapacitating her. Even still. Cree Summers, great as a as yeah. quite weak. Yeah. She's Always good to hear her. Yeah. She's strong. Susie Carmichael. There's another regrets reunion in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, what else can we talk about? Something about something. Something about something. something. The little girl, the, the the film Little Lady, she is very, like, If I was uh, Grandpa Max, I would have punched her. Yeah. Hit the small child. Yeah. Okay. Don't talk to my granddaughter like that. Boom! Uh, Gwen, go give me a switch. <laughs> go give me the su- the sun gun. Yeah. <laughs> I did like the sun gun. That was cool. And he had that little ghost detector thing, too. I love, too, because we've had this issue before where Max and Gwen don't believe Ben, which is weird to begin. Yeah. Like, everything y'all have seen, you should believe Ben. But they're also just so quick to be like, okay, fine, we believe you. Let's do something about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, two minutes of, oh, we don't believe you. And then he does nothing to convince them, and they're like, okay, you may be telling the truth. Let's yeah, go figure it out. Yeah. It's happened before. Like, when they thought he was the one... Um, Oh, and Aunt Vera episode. Whenever the oh, he thought that the people were switched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aliens. So and like, then also, okay, Ben, we yeah. believe you. And then also with them. Um, well, in this one they put up a little more because Gwen says something like, "Okay, maybe your butter hasn't slipped off your noodle." Yeah, what the f- does that mean? I thought it was funny. I think the the term is like your cheese has slipped off your cracker. I've heard that before. I've never heard any of those. Just call someone crazy and get it over with. <laughs> you crazy mother trucker, dude. Yeah, trucker, dude. That like hurt a like butt a butt cheek, cheek on, on a stick. stick. Ghost Freak possesses a child because he can't go out in the sunlight. 
Oh, yeah, and the kid... <laughs> he has, like, an adult's face, you Yeah, said. I said he looks like a Titan from Attack on Titan. <laughs> he doesn't look, one... look like a Titan. No, I'm telling you, go look at some of the faces of those Titans, dude. His face <laughs> looks just like one of them. He looks like if he had been turned into a Titan. You say so. I, I, like, I, know I like so. that you can tell if Ghost Freaks possess somebody because they've got the crack of the eyes. Yes, and the eyes I love that. But that was, a, that was another thing. He, um, I meant to bring this up earlier, but Ben is, like, fighting all the freaks, and he's like, ah, I'll keep beating them up. He's like, okay, well, let's change your partner, and he takes over Gwen. And so Gwen starts fighting him. He's like, I can't hurt her. But Gwen's not doing anything, really. Yeah. She's just kicking and punching a big she's old alien. A, and he's kind of doing good about, like, like dodging her moves yeah. and stuff. deflecting and not reacting. But you stuff. can see, like, he's using Gwen to the best of her ability. He's using yeah. her, like, agility, and she's kicking, and she's putting all her weight behind her, like, Yeah, you know, it goes through, like, stuff. damn, this is getting me nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was better off with the thumb school guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, Grandpa Max like does a jujitsu move. On oh him. yeah, throws him in the fridge. Uh, Forearms does a nice suplex. Yeah, he Forearm just line. he found everything in that fa- uh, farm in that park area and was just running thumb skull <laughs> through them. And Gwen didn't say anything about him destroying that area. Yeah. Uh, when he's possessing Gwen, Ghost Freak, it, he like climbs up the wall like Spider Man. Oh yeah, it was so weird. And then Forearms just does it too. Yeah, but he's like, I don't have to stick. I'm just putting my I'm fingers just grabbing in like the Doc fucking, Ock. Yeah, yeah. It's like a really good parallel between. It's crazy. Dude. <laughs> Doc he's Ock just like Spider Man. Okay. How does Honestly, he could have just cl- jumped. I've freak? seen him jump. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, forearms. Definitely could have. Yeah. The freaks all jump up there. Yeah. That's not believable. I love how um the acid spinning guy just straight up gets on the other guy's back. <laughs> He's like, okay. And then he like, for- he, like clotheslines yeah. him. Like, why'd you jump on his back? It was like the perfect like height for Forearms. Like, yeah, this is my time. Oh, this is actually good. You can just take one punch and you're done. <laughs> he was, well, Yeah, he's just got nothing yeah. going for him. He's got no more meth in the tank, you know? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if he does have, like, a limit. Like, he's got, like, a certain amount of shots he can do. Oh, that'd be Sometimes interesting. Sometimes he just, like, sprays it out like a fire hose. Comment question of the day. If you could see one other of Ben's aliens come out of the Omnitrix to kind of rebel, who would you want to do? I would say Grey Matter, because I feel like... I'd just stomp on him. No, no, no. I feel like Grey Matter oh. has got... <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> I mean, yes, what you're saying is true. Hit him with a hammer, like you yeah. said that one time. But um, All the times. I think Grey Matter's got way more untapped potential than he can handle. Like, yeah. He can well. And first of all, you can't find him. Like, he's a little frog. He'll hide somewhere. Yeah. And, like like they in both Ghost Freak situations, he does that because the next that next time he finds Ghost Freak, he like hides and builds a little sun gun. You yeah. Know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, upgrade would be a good one. Be kind of unstoppable. Wild mutt. Imagine that. Yeah, it's it's a wild weird. animal essentially coming and yeah. maul, mauling you. But you could sh- you could probably shoot wild mutt enough and he'd be dead. I don't think you could shoot a gray matter. Ooh, what about wild vine coming out? That's pretty bad because he can like dig. I'd hope that um, hide from you. No, I'd hope that. Cannonball came out, and before he killed me, I just rubbed. Wait, him. wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready now. I'd be like, because if it feels like tennis balls right before he kills me, I'm like, no You're way. Like, Hopper was right. Damn it. <laughs> then he gets smushed by, yeah. by a dodgeball. <laughs> yeah. So that was this episode. Uh, next episode is Doctor Animo and the Mutant Ray. We get the combination aliens. The so sick. Infinite fusions. The amalgamations. Amalgamations. Um, good to see Doctor Animo back. I'm excited. To yeah. Watch that I haven't seen him in a while. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and everything. We we yeah, we appreciate this. it. We're, we're climbing in the subscriptions, so thank you for all the new thank viewers, you. all the old viewers, anyone that's watching. We appreciate your views. We'll see you, we'll next, see time. you next time.